Before I move on, I'm going to go ahead and change the name of this file. I'll hit the FT command and type in new on the tour yoke. With that done, I'm going to switch back to the assembly just how I got to the new part. I'm going to double click on my X design application here and then double click again to expand my assembly that I'm working on. Now, to replace this component, I can delete this and add my new yoke and reattach all the mates, which locate the components relative to each other. Or I can take advantage of the replace component command. So I'm going to click on the old yoke, come to my assembly tab, and over here to the right, you'll find the replace component. So by using this, it'll automatically keep the mates that I already have and I don't have to reattach them. So let me go ahead and select choose component. This will activate my 6W tags and my 3D search. I can type in the name of the file, which would be new monitor yoke. We'll go ahead and find my new monitor yoke that we just created, or I can take advantage of the search command that's at the top. Here's the new file. If I want, I can click on it. The preview icon is over here to the right. It's actually going to use the 3D Play app. I can click the play icon, take a look at a preview, and just make sure that this is the right component. Looks good. Can rotate it, get information about the file. We'll go ahead and select that one. Now, when I hit the green check, it's going to look at the mates that were the, the existing component and give me the opportunity to reapply those to the faces or references on my new monitor yoke component. It'll give me each one of those references in the mate reference list at the top. And if I want to click on one, I can see it'll preview to what it's looking for. So it's looking for a concentric mate. So this one, I'll just select the face that I want to reapply that mate to for the new yoke. Once that mate has been reapplied, you'll see the assembly move position or the component move position within the assembly and also get a green check indicating that that reference has been reattached. I'll do the same for the other references. Let me go ahead and select the second face. For this one, I need to rotate and use the conical face on the inside. Let the assembly reposition. I'll move to the third face which is going to be this flat face up at the top. And lastly, I'll click on this bottom one and re-add or re-reference the concentric mate. From here, I'll go ahead and hit the green check. I've replaced that component. I can see my new monitor yoke over here in my assembly tree. And within the assembly environment, I'm getting some visual feedback that I've got some interference in here. There's a couple of ways that I can go about correcting this. The way that I'm going to go with is by going to my tools tab, selecting the measure command, and just measuring the edges that are overlapping. So this is telling me that I've got a 10 millimeter overlap. I can go ahead and escape or exit out of that command. The overlap is within the cutout of this component here. So I can actually just double click that component. It will automatically put that in an edit component command. So now that I'm in the component environment, I see that I've got this gap for the cut. I'll click on the gap, edit feature. Now notice what it's doing in the background over here. It's made the rest of my assembly transparent. And if you would like to adjust the opacity, you can come into the view tab. And if you hit the arrow to the right, you can see the opacity manager and you can just use the slider to change the visibility of that assembly behind it. So from here and my measurement tool, this cut is currently at 24. I need to change that and add 10 millimeters. So I'll just say 24 plus 10, hit enter and enter again. That will confirm and update that cut. And I can switch back by double clicking to my assembly environment. That'll reactivate the assembly. Now I'm still showing that I've got an issue here but that's because I haven't recalculated, resolved, rebuilt the model. To do that, I'm gonna hit the 
solve icon on the left of my features, let it update all the mates, and I can see it readjust and put itself back where it needs to be. So pretty quickly, I was able to reattach, re-reference everything without having to switch environments to edit the other components or anything. I can do it all within my X-Design application. The next thing that I want to do is go ahead and add a couple of clips to this. So I can directly search kind of how I did the replace component earlier, and I'm going to say clip, enter, and I find this cable management clip. Again, if I want to click on it, it uses the 3D Play app, I can verify that that is um, what I want to use. Looks good. Double click it. Go ahead and insert it by a drag and drop, and I'll just place it out here to the side. And now I've got my cable clip. So I'm just going to move this out where I can see it a little bit easier, and I'm going to locate this component with the mates. So I'm going to add a mate from the ID face here, hold the control key, and select this OD. Use my quick access toolbars. Now, the mates are very similar to the relationships. For this one, I want to use a concentric mate to locate those relative to each other. Hit the green check to confirm. We can see that if I move and drag this, it's locked on to that cylindrical face. For this, I think it's best to just say that I've got the faces a certain distance together, just in case one of those transfers were to change later. So I'll select the two. Again, using the control key, select a distance and put in the value of 50 millimeters. Now, I need a second cable management clip on here. There's a couple of ways I can do that. I can search for it again, just as I did before. Another way I can add another one is because I've got one already in my assembly, I can hold the control key and just click and like drag it away. That will add another one dump it at the base of my assembly again, and I can go add that. Now, there's another way I'm going to do that because I don't want to have to go attach those mates as well. I'm going to hit the Control Z or Undo key, and I'm going to select this component and choose to do a linear pattern. So from my toolbar at the bottom, I'll select linear pattern, give it a reference for the direction, which will be the axis or the cylindrical face of that monitor stand. And, and apply my spacing 100 millimeters. Now, when I rotate one or move one, it should move both of them because they were done with a pattern, right? So that is the X Design assembly environment. It's fast, it's simple, it's designed to save you time, just like the X Design part modeling environment. It's got more insights to analysis, how to give you feedback as you're designing to make you have the best design from the get-go.